Hello children. In this lesson we are going to learn the standard identity 4 law. And what is it? x plus a into x plus b. Remember the standard identity 1, 2 or 3 are the laws where there are only two variables a or b. Standard identity 4 law is about three variables. One is x, one is a and one is b. So if you have an algebraic expression of this form x plus e x plus a into x plus b, how do we solve it? Let's try to find it. We write x into x plus b plus a into x plus b. I'm trying to derive the formula for standard identity 4. We take the multiplicand, take its first term x, multiply it with the multiplier x plus b plus a comes like this multiply it with the multiplier. Now using the distributive law we can open this a into b plus c is a into b plus a into c. So we write x into x as x square plus x into b as xp plus a into x plus a into b. Right? Solve this term separately x into x plus x into b plus a into x plus a into b. Then you can see x square x into s is x square x into b is xb a into x is ax and ab and you can see in these two terms x is common so you can further simplify it and write it in three terms x square plus x into b plus a plus ab or you can say x square plus x into a plus b plus ab because b plus a is same as a plus b using the commutative rule right so x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x into a plus b plus a b so this is standard identity 4 let's see its use say we are given 501 into 502 we can represent 501 as 500 plus 1 and 502 as 500 plus 2. So any two numbers multiplication if they are very close to hundreds or tens or thousands then we can write it like this. Ensure x is same 500 500 and other number can be difference. Now we can use this law where x is 500 x plus a so a is 1 into x plus b x has to be same 500 in both of these multiplicand and multiplier so 500 plus 1 into 500 plus 2 so a becomes 1 b becomes 2 so this is what is given we can rewrite it like this and solve it so 501 into 502 became 500 plus 1 into 500 plus 2 and we know identity 4 can be used that is it can be written as x plus a into x plus b so we can write the right hand side x square that is 500 square plus x into a plus b that is 500 into 1 plus 2 plus a b 1 to 2 a is 1 and b is 2 you can solve it 500 square is 500 into 500 5 into 5 is 25 0 0 into 0 0 is 4 zeros so this becomes this much and then 500 into 1 plus 2 is 500 into 3 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 into 2 is 2 so this is 2 lakh 50,000 plus 1500 plus 2 finally we get 2 lakh 51,502 so this number we can do it in a normal multiplication form or using the identity 4 we solve it broke it 501 as 500 plus 1 and 502 as 500 plus 2 Let's take one more example, this time an algebraic expression. p square plus 2q into p square plus 4r. Which law we can use? Can we, we can use standard identity 4? Because here there are three variables. x is same, p square, p square here. And this can be 2q, 4r, doesn't matter. Right? So x is p square, a is 2q, and 4r is the b. So we rewrite this thing as it's of this form left hand side we can write it as the right hand side 
right? So this was your problem. We write it as x square. Remember x is p square. So don't write just p square. x itself is p square and this identity forces you have to write x square. So p square whole bracket square. Why double square? Because x itself is p square. And when you need to write the right hand side, x square. So just think blindly this is entire thing is x, p square. And you need to write another square of the entire thing. So you write bracket and square. In plus x into a plus b. So x is p square. a is 2q and b is 4r plus a into b. Now using the loss of exponent we know m whole square is this will become m a, a to the power m whole bracket n is a to the power m into n. So 2 into 2 became p to the power 4. Or you can solve it writing as p square into p square and then you know p is coming 4 times. So p to the power 4 plus using the distributive law open the bracket p square into 2q plus p square into 4 4 r so it becomes 4 p square r plus multiply these two 2 into 4 is 8 q into r is 8 q r right so the answer is p to the power 4 plus 2 p square q plus 4 p square r plus 8 q r so do it very simply figure out which law you can use here you can very clearly see the same thing is here and here so it this can be treated as x, this can be treated as a, this can be treated as b and you can apply the law. Just replace the left hand side with the right hand side. Replace each place where you have the x by p square. Wherever it's a by 2q, wherever it is b by 4r and you get this statement. And then open all the bracket p square square become p to the power 4, 2 into 2 is 4. Open this p square 2q plus p square into r plus 2q into 4r. So that's all in this lesson children. Bye bye.